Hello there, one and all, and welcome to Operation Banish Giant. This is a heavy abduction. Central, all the way in China. Good lord. What a start. Big Sky, reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So like I said last time, we've brought a squad of eight, including two snipers, and this is not the map for them. This is pretty much all close quarters. You can see around the outside of this large urban structure. We could snipe down the sides of them, but there's pretty much no sniping inside or outside in. So the R snipers... Well, Bros is going to be useless. Bros has snapshot. Commissar is going to be useless, but then Commissar is probably going to be useless anyway. Even, even worse than being useless, they might be a liability. But anyway, heavy abduction in China. Now, oh, I had something planned to say, but I've lost my notes. But anyway, in order to fit a third mission in, in this recording batch, we are going to have to go fast. We're going to have to hit hard. And that is why we are barging through the door straight up. Muchos contactos, amigos. Four fin menos. Um, yeah, that, that's that's fast. What I'd like to do then is say set up commissar here, sniping into here, and that involves checking out this side. Who's best to check out this side? I mean, Anarch has battle scanners, which I had to deliberately bring on the medic. The listener could also barge in the front, or a better option would probably be to come down here. protect against any flanks coming around this way, which are quite unlikely. Now, we are really splitting up the squad. Devlin Cast needs to be in position as well. I'm thinking just dashing right up to here. Stepping on. Hmm. It's quite unlikely that we'll activate a pod round here, and coming round to here should stop them coming out this door. And it's certainly going fast. Oh no, it can see through that door, because that glass pane's actually acting like glass. So we've got a flank on this guy, that guy's going to move, we've got Meld there. Um, Katie could overwatch, to be honest, that might be a better idea, because that guy's obviously going to run. Cheeky can come in, get a good grenade off. Oh, Bombard! Bombard! Cheeky's still going to have to come up to here anyway. Aye, aye, Commander. But this grenade can obviously get to where it needs to go because Cheeky now has bombard. There we go. Could even kill this guy. If we're lucky. We'll certainly destroy that cover. Kate will have a shot. Might kill both of them. Bombard. Could go for a capture on that guy. Anarch is a good overwatcher. They're not going to flank around here, I don't think. So Anarch can come up to here. I think it should be safe. Open this door, kick it down. Overwatch. Yosef. Just in case they do decide to play some funny business. Overwatch. And then Bros and Commissar, I don't know what they're doing. They can sit here for all I care. Katie can now see that guy in the back. Might as well go for him. Excellent. That guy's still up for a capture, if we get lucky. Oh, these guys are dead in a single shot as well. This is not the environment for them. Is that drones? Oh, so it could have been. Yep, all into the acid. That's fine with me. No rocketeers to easily take this pod out. We might need them. Boom. That is quite a meaty seeker. <laughs> Just go punch a seeker in the face. It'll be fine. Is that just more drones? Of all the missions not to bring a rocketeer on. Right, anyway, I came up to here to try and... Of course, flamethrowers don't actually affect any of these guys, so I'm a bit of an idiot. But that's some good rewards, not some good trade, it's some good kill. Some good kill and some good grammar. 
So Yosef's nowhere near in a good position to help deal with anything. Over here might be able to overwatch through the door. Affirmative. Covering now. Uh, similarly, bros what maybe be able to shoot through here with snapshot. <laughs> Hunker down just in case. Commissar useless. Yes, Commander. Devlin Caster useless. Unless we do something really stupid. Um, as we know by now, really stupid by my standards is really cool. We want to blow up both these walls, is what we want to do. Both of them at once. The Devlin Cast has a firing port to shoot through at these drones. It looks like we're just going to have to blow up this one and hope he can see through the windows. It might have worked. Hey, double tap. Don't mind if I do. Dead and gone. Now we can only see one of them, but that's fine. Hoorah. Who to the rar? Slam through this door. You never know, we might have been able to punch upwards. Zeke is more of a threat than drugs. 17 without a crit, that's heat ammo for you. Anarch in. Overwatch perhaps, or just have a shot. Don't have Sentinel yet. I want to stay on the ground. Ah, maybe should have just gone Sentinel. And then hunker down Commissar. Go on, have a go. Meld over there as well. That drone's retreating. Don't know what it's doing. I don't know why the drones are retreating. I thought the drones would more just come straight towards you unless there was a target to repair. Uh, that guy, how's, how's he not dead? Where's, where's the close combat specialist? That is quite a funny miss. That thin man just does not know what to do at all. And that sure as hell looked like a hit to me, but if you say it missed, then it missed. What actually shot that? Is it like a seeker like round that corner? Right. We can't get close enough to get that meld just yet. There's like no insightful commentary on this because I am just going fast. As fast as possible get a good flank on that one. So we still have the thin man with one health. Can we clear a path to anything else for Devlin Castle to shoot at? No, I don't think so. Devlin Castle will have to move up. Cheeky. Could sprint up to here. Could sprint round to you. Right, someone needs to take care of that drone. Bros, what have you got? What do your snipers' eyes see? Nothing. Nothing of any use. If there wasn't any fire around here, that would be quite good for Anarch there. Ah, it's still good enough. Hope this is a kill. Good stuff. That leaves the listener free to do what the listener wants to do. What does the listener want to do? There's that drone there. I would rather check around the side. See what's going on. And what's going on is still nothing. Have a shot. <laughs> Sometimes everything just does go your way. And because we've done that, it means Cheeky can come right up. We can put Devlin Caster here. In fact, all the way up to here, flanked by the drone, but who actually cares at this point? Because Yusuf on Overwatch, uh, bros can now actually see that guy. We don't actually want to shoot him, though we want to capture him. Commissar, okay. you, you never know. Commissar might get a kill on this drone as it comes in. He's going to fall back, but, you know, there's nowhere to fall back to. This drone might be leading us to another pod, of course. Or it might just be panicked. Yeah. 
Gonna shoot at Cheeky. No, shooting at Katie. Stepping through a wire fence. What have we got if this doesn't work? We might have a punch. We have all the meld. Right, hopefully this works. If it doesn't, then let's hope Bros can get the kill. Light up. Let's light him up. Another plasma carbine rifle. Plasma carbine. Which will ultimately come in very useful down the line. Katie over to here, get this meld. There's been three pods on this map. I'm, it's a heavy abduction. Surely there's another one coming. But then they're not going to be down here. The only place they can be is up in this corner where I thought that drone was taking us to. <sighs> Who's got eyes on this drone? Wait, did we... Did we kill it? I don't, I don't think we did. Well, we're certainly going to kill it now. Moving to position. Listo de nuevo. There we go. All our guys are flanked. Watch the sides. All our guys are all our guys flanked. But the drone is dead. But the drone is dead. It's got to be another pod behind us now. That's fine, we've got all the melt. We've got a capture out of it. Cheeky we capture. And so we need to start sprinting Cheeky. If we want any more captures, we need to start sprinting Cheeky all the way up, and that's good enough. So we do need to reorient ourselves. Yosef up to here. We could, of course, take... Mm. Yeah, Yosef up to here. That's way. decent cover. Can retreat if we run into trouble. The listener up because I do want to punch something. I haven't heard any real big threats. That's why I'm content with sprinting right up to the activate. Four more Finmen. Not not the biggest threat we've ever faced. So if those Finmen decide to come in here, Yosef has their number. Bros will be off on an almighty flank. That was a bit of a heart and mouth moment for me because I realised something else could have moved around here, but no, I'm fairly sure this is the last pod on the map. Air uh, Katie up as well because why not? The big DC into cover. Anarch needs to reload, so can do so over here. We won't be using any of the chem grenades. In fact, Commissar might be able to get a shot from down here. You never know your luck. So, indestructible cover. I knew that would be a problem. I knew that would be what they do as soon as I moved Devon Castle, but I'd already moved the listener. That's quite a lot of damage. This is quite a risky situation, to be honest. Because, I mean, two crits and the listener would have been dead. And that's kind of the effects of the acid as well, I think. Right, bros. Can move up to here, get a flank. Uh, we're going to have most trouble going for this guy, so bros go for that guy, hopefully kill him in our one arm. <laughs> Commissar is 56% on some of them. So Katie can flank whatever we want, whatever we like. That guy's dead. Devlin Caster is going to have reduced aim 
because of everything that's going on. Rule of cool. We've got to go for the kinetic strike and punch a thin man in the face. Now that's not actually a flank because there's a door there. I've already just realised. But I mean, we, we've got this well in hand. That's why I moved it to there. So, if we could, for example, get Commissar a kill by... How would we do it? Any hit from Devon Cast is going to kill it. Could flush it. And hope it doesn't die and hope it stays in a position where Commissar can kill it. Let's try that. Oh, not suppression. Flush could kill it as well. Right, can Commissar actually hit that? 86% now, actually. That might have worked out very well indeed. Commissar gets his kill. Is anyone else in a position to do anything? Nope. Let's not risk it coming towards bros. Let's just kill it. It's not worth... It's not worth preserving the body of a single thin man. Letting it take another shot at our troops. Mission over. Chalk up another one. Chalk up another. That's 16 aliens. That was quite a lot, but it was all drone seekers, thin men. It wasn't that much of a threat. We are moving quickly. That's 17 minutes. That's not bad. We do have another UFO there. We'll have to check out that. It's just landed. Presumably Excellent. in Germany. Our troops returned without a scratch, and they managed to recover more of the alien meld substance. Electo Commissar. If we're building a crit sniper, then obviously Lone Wolf is the way to go. Ice Bros. If we're building an in the zone sniper, lock and load is obviously the way to go. So we've got an alien carbine, we've got loads of meld, that was quite a nice mission, got Remember, some cash. We... Contact detected. That's a landed scout, early in the month. What could go wrong? So, I obviously won't be scanning too much, but... Hmm. I'm just a bit curious about... Now these guys, not really worth waiting for them. I don't think we can wait for a lot of them. So I think we're just going to jump right in to the next mission, because why Contact wouldn't we? Detected. So another team of eight for another, what should be a relatively easy mission? It could be a trap. I don't think it will be. Let's check it out. So here we have another worthy team of eight to take on a landed scout. And we have to be prepared on a landed scout. It's probably not going to be... It's like preparing for covert extraction. We're probably not going to have to fight that tougher troop, that tougher foe, that many tough aliens. But we could, so we have to be prepared. Denny along for captures. And I don't necessarily want to take this experienced a squad. Because as you can see, we're taking some very inexperienced people. We're taking two Rocketeers as well. TV Raiders is here, more as an Overwatcher rather than a Rocketeer though. And we've still got our socks and Banksy in reserve for missions coming up. Uh, I want to train up Ryazaki, I want to finally train up Ratmanej. James is here, just because I wanted to take the Alloy Cannon. King Brandon, I can't remember what King Brandon is doing, but he's got such little health. that I, I don't think he's really cut out to be a soldier, to be honest. But we're going to give him a good chance. Gonna give him every chance he's taking the Gauss auto rifle. But like I said, I don't necessarily want to take this experienced a team, but all the guys who are actually watching this, you're all master targets by now. Well not all of you obviously, but pretty much that's what we're getting at. So I don't want to go, hey you're a master sergeant, now you, you just don't come on missions anymore. And indeed what what we've seen from the past few missions is that once you're a Master Sergeant, you're actually really good. And we can do more aggressive, more stupid things with you. Like Epiphanus, I assume, will just charge out straight from the spawn. Because we're that confident in his abilities. Master Sergeant Denny will be hot on his heels, looking for captures. And even if we do run into something, Gunnery Sergeant Tolkell and Arthur Javelin Rocket just goes, whoops, right over your head. And loads of things are dead. So anyway... I'm feeling alright about this team. We've got quite a few people we need to train up. Someone I'd like to train up in TB Raiders, because I'm liking his style so far. I like the cut of his jib. So we are just down to... 
I was going to say that's kind of Slovenia-ish, Croatia-ish. It's probably just northern Italy. To begin our assault in the Broken Pyre. Urgent mission request. Loads of pyres of US. This is France. We've pinpointed the location of the UFO Maybe in the 19th site. century, mate. Set down in an isolated area out in the country. We should be able to secure the area before the This is the Eurozone. It doesn't matter if it's France or Germany, it's all Eurozone now. This is 2015-2016, is it not? So anyway, Operation Broken Pyre, the landed scout, coming to you next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.